Hey guys, Gun Collector 87 here. So tonight, I'm just going to show you a real fast video. We just um, put a hold on the 458 SOCOM right now. And uh, we still got to re-blue those other two guns. So we're going to start that project back up here pretty soon. I got a lot of my class work done. But uh, right now, we're going to... I'm going to show everybody if if you have one and you already know how to take these out, do me a favor, hit the like button, stop the video, you can go on. I mean, I appreciate you watching unless you want to watch. That'd be great. But uh, <clears throat> if you already got one of these guns, chances are you probably already swapped this out and you've already, you already know what to do. So if you are going to watch it, just bear with me. We still won't be a few more minutes here. But this is a 10 round magazine. Now, if you want to leave this in, you can you leave it in. This gun functions just fine. Not a problem with it at all. What we're going to swap it out with is one of these 20 round ones. I also have, I think that's a 20. This could be a 30. And this, this might be, this might be a 40. I'm not 100% sure. I've never loaded this one. You can tell when it sits here how big it is. But, anywho, I probably won't be using that one at all. And I'll just stick with that Tapco plastic one. Just for reference, before we get started, you're right. Magazine is a 556-300 blackout. Your left one here is the SKS round, the 7.62 by 39. But anywho, we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. So I'm going to try to keep it in the gun thing here. It'll make life a lot easier. So I'm going to we'll flip it upside down. We're going to make sure ain't nothing in it first. All these guns are checked anyways before we get on these videos and anything else. So, Guns clear. There's nothing in the magazine. You can check the magazine again. Flip your switch. You can tell there's nothing down in there. You can see my stand right there. Alrighty. So you always want to keep your bolt open. And your trigger here, you want to flip your switch. You're going to want to flip that switch frontward, just like that. It was in this position, which you almost can't see it through the camera like that. You're going to switch it like that. That's going to relieve some space here. Now, on this indention, That's right there. That little silver piece you're staring at. This right here. We're going to push it that way. We're going to push it toward the barrel. And when you do this, this is going to take the trigger guard out. Trigger guard assembly. You're going to push. Charles is going to pull up on your trigger guard assembly. Now be careful because this will loosen the barrel and everything. So definitely keep a, a hand under your barrel on your receiver area because it will, everything will fall right out. Like I said, it will fall out. Let's bring you all back around here. So basically that's pretty much about all there is to it. <clears throat> I'm going to keep my hand on it in case I don't want that thing to fall. This pops out just like it, and it's got a notch right there. Turn it around. If you look up this way, that is where your your magazine will lock into. It's got grooves. That groove right there at the end where my finger is is going to go in and under that, and it lock in. Now to put your magazines in, you've got to have this bolt open. So, 
We'll lock one in real quick. Now you can go ahead and put your trigger and stuff back in on this. Let's drop in and you just press it while you hold your bottom receiver. Because if you just push down, you're just going to push your receiver out. So you got to hold it right here and push it down. Next, remember your little groove. It's going to go under here. And it just locks in. Now if you spin that around, you'll get the full picture of it. That gives you the full picture of the gun. But that's all there is to it. I'm going to take this back out. And then I'm going to put the box mag back in. Show you guys how to do that. That just comes out. Keep your bolt open the entire time. That will allow it to go in and out. Now you can't, you can't put that in like that. That won't work. So what you'll need to do, again, is come around to the side and push that little lever back in, the little button. That is designed, actually, so if you're in a field and you need to do all of this, you can use a bullet. So you're going to push in, pull this up. And remember, your receiver will fall out. Take that out. Now I'm going to sod it back a little bit so my receiver is on the thing. So here is how we're going to line this up. It's not tricky. It's not bad. Pretend we're going in like this. This is going to sit like this inside of your receiver. Well, your stock actually, my bad. It's going to sit inside of your stock. So... Put your magazine in first. Get it seated down. Come back. Give it a little push down. I'm just going to make a fool out of me. Not difficult. There we go. There we go. Push that in and you can still lock it. Just like that. And there it is. That's all you got to do. Now it'll open just like that. Click her down. I'm actually going to take that back out so I can use my 20 round mag if I need to. So I'm going to push it in. Push it up. In theory. Be a little contrary. There we go. Pop it out. Pull my magazine out. Mm -hmm. Now these little ends here will go in these little notches under this piece. And put them in there. Oh, you gotta put it in right, of course. Like a ding dong. And then you'll just lock that in. <clears throat> That's all you do, guys. That is how you change your metal box magazine out here to your um, removable 20 round, 10 round, 5 round, 30 round, 40 round ones. They have a 
quite a bit of different ones out there. I'm going to get a five around, maybe a 10 round for this. Fix up my sight. My sight's off. It needs adjusted. And uh, go with it from there. There's some coyotes I might try to smoke with it. I do plan, I'm thinking about putting a different stock on this. Kind of sporterizing it. I don't know. We might do that. Let me know what your comments are. If you've done that to yours, how you like it. Now we can drop our bolt since your magazine's not in. There you go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and share. I think we're up to around 210 now. Subscribers, appreciate every one of you guys. Thanks for the support and the love and all the good comments for the most part. Nine times out of ten, you guys reply with what your experiences are and that maybe you've just purchased something that I reviewed. Uh, there's just a couple that's come on there that's uh, talk trash, but they get deleted immediately. But thanks for your views on all my videos. I appreciate that and all the feedback and all the comments. Guys, thanks a bunch. Keep shooting. We'll talk at you later.